Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Physiology Learning. In today's Explain Why series, we are going to understand important physiological process which is the insulin administration in hyperkalemic patient. We are going to understand why insulin is administered in hyperkalemic patients. Whenever we hear this, this is one of the best treatment for hyperkalemic patient, especially it could save the life of the hyperkalemic patient. And why hyperkalemia is very dangerous? Because of its ability to cause lethal arrhythmias. It will cause severe arrhythmia of the patient and the patient can die at any moment if the hyperkalemia is very severe. And in this patients, the insulin is administered. So what is the function of this insulin? So what is hyperkalemia? Hyperkalemia means that is the extracellular ECF potassium levels are increased. Whenever the ECF potassium levels are increased, they have the highest tendency to produce arrhythmias. So for an immediate treatment, what we do is at least we try to send them back into the cells. Who helps it? Who does it? Obviously the insulin. The insulin will help them to put the potassium ions back into the cells. But what is the mechanism happening here? The mechanism happening here is insulin is going to activate two beautiful channels that is our sodium potassium ATPS channel as well as one sodium potassium two chloride symporter. So what does our sodium potassium ATPS channel do? Our sodium potassium ATPS channels ideology is to throw sodium out and take in the potassium. So what the other channel does? This other channel can take in sodium, potassium, chloride all inside the cell. So basically what we are trying to do here is we are pushing all the ECF K plus into the cells to save the patient from lethal arrhythmias. Then after some time what happens is this potassium comes back slowly and it can be eliminated by the kidney. This administration of insulin is very effective and usually the action begins in 15 to 20 minutes. This is one of the wonderful treatment which can save the hyperkalemic patients. Whenever you administer insulin, what is one more caution you have to be? Insulin can cause hypoglycemia. So you ideally it is always given with a dextrose solution. So insulin plus dextrose is one of the beautiful treatment given for hyperkalemic patients. I hope it's clear. Thank you for listening. We'll see in the next video.